Hayes, Disney Girl, back to continue my Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery journey. So there are new pets in the game, and this new one is a Neasel, which is really, really cute. Now, the one question I do have is, does the Neasel take the location of the cat in your dormitory, or if it's walking around the school with you, does it stay beside you like a cat does, or is there another slot for it? Now, in the dormitory, I only have two pets, um, a toad and a cat, so I just want to know where it sort of sits in location. Um, I haven't bought an easel, so I don't know. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. I have my cat, and I named it Chester, um, especially when it's orange. But if I was to get another cat, it might need another name, but we'll have to wait and see. I don't have a name for the toad yet, so I'm still needing some suggestions for that. Now, the house pride event, I teamed up with my housemates, and I earned loads of house points with them, and we were able to get the exclusive outfit. Now, I love this outfit because it's not just the Halloween spooky outfit this looks like Bellatrix in my mind and I absolutely love it. it is fantastic it's a little dark for Lily I know her personality is a little bit happier and everything and she has a certain image going but you know what Lily might need to turn a little dark and spooky for a little while a little bit more mysterious bring out another side in her that um, you know that her fellow Gryffindors haven't seen before but you know what you can be very brave but Gryffindors, when they know they want something and they're going for it, they're just, they'll do anything to get answers. And I feel like this is one of those looks that Lily can wear when she's really looking for answers. Now, this is really cool. I've never dueled before, but the dueling club is available for under two days. Pumpkins on head. Win duels to learn Malofer's Jinx. Each duel requires a ticket. Okay, so we need 16 wins, I guess, to learn the Malofer's Jinx. So, uh, I think that could be possible, but since I've never done the dueling club before, um, I know that's actually part of my side storyline here, so I definitely will have to start that first. So it is part of my main storyline today, guys, and it also is, it has to do with an event. So this video is going to be a little bit all over the place. Now, I do want to go into the dueling club looking awesome and you know what I think this outfit is just the way to do it now the question is is her hair um, I kind of like Lily's hair like this but I think with this outfit it makes her look a little weak so you know what she's crazy she needs her awesome crazy hair now it's here oh wow she looks so good in it oh my goodness if Lily was a Slytherin right now she would never get out of this outfit I'm telling you she looks amazing Wow, I love this costume. I do wish it was more floor length, but you know what? It's okay. It can't look exactly like Bellatrix's, that's for sure. Wow, I don't know how she's going to lose any duels in this outfit. Everyone's going to just run away from her because she's going to look so terrifying, so intimidating. Well, Lily, hopefully we'll be able to show them up in the dueling club so let's go ahead and get out of here and start dueling where are you lily there she is wow she looks amazing down in the dungeons in this whoa what do you guys think of that outfit on lily amazing right oh my goodness so cool okay dueling club dueling club okay so if you guys have any tips for the dueling club, you guys feel free to let me know. Leave lots of comments there uh, giving me some tips. Uh, we'll see how I do, though, on my own. But if you guys have any tricks for me, like if after the first attack you know something, let me know. Or, ooh, Penny's in here, Flitwick, McGonagall's is crazy. I thought I knew everything that goes on at Hogwarts, but I've never heard anyone mention this room. That's unheard of. Penny knows all the gossip. Ooh, Marula and Ben are here too? What on earth is Ben doing in here? What happened to the carpet and the walls? Was a battle fought in here? Most likely. I like the look of this place. I'm sure you do. Dumbledore. Okay, let's see what he has to say. Welcome to the Hogwarts Dueling Club.
This room was built years ago as a safe and supervised environment for students to practice dueling. I am sure you have noticed the damage caused by various fire-making spells and blasting curses over the years. Now I see them. We leave this destruction as a reminder that casting a spell against friend or foe can have lasting implications. Dueling exists as a sport, but may also save your life, as many know firsthand from the Wizarding War. Uh, yeah, okay. Thanks for the reminder, Dumbledore. I want all of you to learn this important skill before leaving Hogwarts. Yes, but only in this place, under our supervision. The professors will oversee every duel, led by our resident dueling champion, Professor Flitwick. Use this as an opportunity to challenge yourself and your classmates. We will take note of your performance and reward those who do well. And remember, that the spells and potions you learn in class will help you to become a better doula. Enough of my blathering. Face off two at a time and ready your wands. <laughs> it's time to duel. Quest complete, visit the dueling club. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. So basically we need to get out of year two we need to get to like what is it now that they've unlocked year five so that we can learn some amazing spells all right so let's see here this dueling room is amazing there are pumpkins right now but i'm assuming that is just for the halloween event i'm assuming they leave after that so it's pretty cool that we got to see the dueling room like that though so now I guess we got to go back into the dueling room to actually start our duels for the event. So the pumpkins are still there in candles and things. All right, Lily, are you ready? Okay, so we get three tickets, so I guess we have to find opponents. Oh, wow, this is online, too. Paul! All right, Paul, you're going down. All right, sneaky, aggressive, and defensive. So this is not our very first duel, guys. Um, we have dueled before, but never in the dueling room. So that is really something. All right, let's use a big attack here on Paul. Sorry, Paul. What just happened? I'm not a noob at this. It just stopped tracing my spell halfway. And my nails are getting too long or something, guys. But they're so pretty. Oh, wow, we are going to destroy Paul. Oh my goodness. Okay, so aggressive attack. I think it is best to use incendio all the time just so we burn them, but since he's kind of low right now, we can do whatever we want. But definitely burning, I think, is probably the best thing to do early on. But we've won this duel, so bye-bye, Paul. Maybe you'll win next time. All right, so that is a great start. This is great to get my confidence up. So we can go ahead and find another opponent now. That was like the fastest duel ever. Crystal. All right, Crystal. Crystal. Let's see how you hold up against me. All right, so again, Incendio, I think, is the best option, So especially at the beginning, so we'll use that one. And it has a chance of burning, too, so hopefully we burn her. Yes, burn for two turns. Oh, look at all the damage that did. Holy jumping. Alright, so I can flipendo now, and then with the burn, that should do it. 
if Pendo doesn't actually just do it for itself. It did. And she's bird, so she doesn't stand a chance. Yay! Bye-bye, Crystal! So that's two wins! Oh yeah! Let's go for a third! Not too bad for my first two duels, right guys? Nestor! And he's a Hufflepuff! It's weird, because he's wearing Gryffindor robes by the looks of it, but in his image it looks like he's a Hufflepuff. Maybe he's not a Hufflepuff. I'll have to take a look next time we get a close look at him. So there is my incendio. It did not burn, but we'll see if I can burn him this time. I don't know if I'll need it, but... There we go. Bye bye, Nestor. Yeah, he's a Hufflepuff. He does have Hufflepuff robes. It looked weird from a distance. It looked like he was probably a fellow Gryffindor. So you have to wait four hours or you can use 55 gems. So, yeah. Now let's go back in here. Stephanie. But it looks like a boy. Maybe I said his name wrong. Maybe it's Stefan. I saw that so quickly I wasn't really paying attention. I was like, what attack do I want to use first? Aggressive! I feel like aggressive is like my favorite attack to use first though. I know a lot of people though I think are going to use defensive, I would think, but we'll see. And aggressive wouldn't win against defensive, so then I'd have to go sneaky. So this is tricky. Oh, it didn't burn him. No. Or her. I shouldn't say him. Him or her. I think it's a him. Looks like a him. Okay, we'll go with him. I apologize if I am wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure it's a boy. Alright, let's incendio him, and let's see if we can get him burnt. He's actually beating me right now. Burned for two turns, so I doubt he's gonna be able to win this. Unless he gets me on the next attack, which he did. Mm. Oh, ouch. Okay, so I'm still, I think, winning by a tiny bit. Yep, because he's burnt himself. No! Oh my gosh, he could one-shot me right now. But he's healing himself? What is he doing? Dude, what are you doing? Okay, well, I gotta win this one. Oh no, it's a draw, which means he gets more health. So do I, but still. Ugh. Okay, hopefully this will do it. I need to definitely use Incendio on him so he burns. It's the only way I think I can win this right now. Okay, so there we go, but no burn. What is going on? I lose. Oh my gosh, I'm going to I'm going to burn and die. Oh, I lost. Guys, that was horrible. Oh, that was a good duel though, but I lost my very first duel. Jermaine. Okay, Jermaine is next. Actually, she's wearing a similar outfit to what I was wearing before. And her hairstyle and everything. She almost looks exactly how I was looking before I changed her up. Now, I don't know what house this person is in. So, 
Um, I think we can tell at the end when it says what year she's in, and two, it'll show the color of the house around it. So we'll have to see. All right, time for incendio. Oh, she's burned for two turns again. I have not seen that before. So when you're when you're burned for two turns and then it goes to one, if you burn them again, it'll go back up to two. So that's insane. Yep, she's done. Bye, Jermaine. Sorry. Maybe better luck next time. She's a Ravenclaw, by the way, guys. All right, let's find another opponent here. Man, this dueling club is amazing. Mariana, and she looks like she's a fellow Gryffindor. Cute costume. For Halloween, I'm guessing. Who are you being? <laughs> Maybe she's not in costume at all. But I feel like she is with those fluffy boots. They are really cute, but definitely with that sweater. I don't know. I'm being a fashion critic now. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Focus on the duel at hand here, so I don't lose. Oh, and she's burned for two turns. So she healed herself, but then she burned, so. Oh, I should have known she would use defensive. I should have known. But I thought she would have healed herself again. She just seemed like the type, but. Um, I want to go aggressive again. Oh, again, I should have known. She's going to definitely drink a potion now. Oh, that wasn't a potion, but she healed herself. What did she use? Was that like a piston or something? I don't, I don't know if that actually is the healing uh, spell you can use in the dueling club, but I would assume so. I don't know what else they could be using. I haven't learned that yet, so. Oh, look at that. So much damage. How did I lose that? No. Thought she was gonna heal herself. Ha! Fooled! Incendio, this will definitely be the end of her. And, oh, she's not burned, so it's not the end of her. But this will be... <laughs> I could have used Expelliarmus on that one. Since she's so low, it wouldn't have mattered, but I just feel like burning her again. And she's burned for two turns, so no matter what, I would have won, even if she had healed herself. Mariana, sorry. Better luck next time. And another four hours. Ah! It's the waiting game, guys, that's the worst. Seriously. Okay, but I now have five wins, guys. So I got 350 coins. Now, I don't see the point of getting... Well, I guess you should say galleons. Um, I don't see the point of getting them, really, but... Eli! Oh, wow. She looks awesome with that hair. She's wearing the same outfit, though, so we're both intimidating. Question is, does she look more intimidating than I do? It is a tough call. Okay, so they've healed themselves. I don't really understand that heal yourself on the first go. It doesn't really make any sense to me. Ah, she wasted her heal now, though. Look at that. You can't heal yourself anymore. Flipendo. Let's see what you got, Eli. Okay, so definitely they like using defensive spells and healing themselves. I think they're afraid to lose any health, so I definitely knew they were gonna do defense again. So, I'm more of an attack person. I'm more like, yeah, okay, if I see somebody, I wanna just attack them. I don't wanna play this defensive game. 
but I understand that sometimes I probably need to, but right now, she's making this really easy for me by using defensive spells constantly. Oh, look at that. Now she really needs to heal herself. She doesn't have a choice here. Wow, she actually went on the attack. That was a surprise. Didn't do much damage, though. Now, the question is, what do I do? Go for my attack. I don't need to defend myself. I am good to go. And this is going to be the end of Eli. What if I only lost one duel now? This is amazing! Bye, Eli! Better luck next time! Alright, let's go ahead and find another opponent. Eduardo! Ooh! Like his look. Oh, he's an attack guy! Ooh, yeah! Uh, which means I shouldn't use attack. But I just did. Actually, no, he used defense, so I wouldn't have seen that coming if I thought he was an attack guy. Hmm. Okay, so he's fooled me so far, guys. Now I'm on the attack, because naturally after you've healed yourself, why would you go defense again? Like, seriously? But I guess that would be a good way to fool me, that's for sure. Oh, and he's stunned for a turn. So even if he wins this next one, he's not going to be able to do anything. He didn't win, though, so. Incendio. Now we might burn him, too. That would be so sad. That would be the end of Eduardo, for sure. Stunned and burned. Yep, burned for two turns. But his stun is over, so, whoa. He would have to make some serious comeback. I think I should have predicted he was going to use defense, but... Oh, no, no. I'm burned for a turn. No. But I won because he burned himself to death. So, there we go. Now, let's find another opponent. I can't say her name. It isn't Chinese. But if you guys know Chinese and know her name, you guys can let me know what it is in English. But we'll use Incendio on her. I love her her outfit, though. My goodness. And her hair. Very, very fashionable. We'll just call her China. I think that's what we'll call her. Since I don't know what her name is. And she has a Chinese name by the looks of it. Alright, let's go! Expelliarmus! So since she was so low on health, Expelliarmus was just like the natural obvious choice here. Okay, there we go! Look at that! Sorry, China! Better luck next time! Eight wins, guys! I'm halfway there! Halfway! All right, you guys ready to see the next few duels? Oh my gosh, I literally could do this all day long. This is so much fun, honestly. Dueling is like the best thing ever. I wish I had done the other dueling clubs before, but the events were so short, I missed half of them, and I was just like, I want to do my storyline. Emmy. Okay, so Emmy is next up, and she's actually a Gryffindor, so we'll see how she pans up against me. Ooh, she's going with defense first. Oh, and she's... Oh, burned me. You're stunned for one more turn? So she burned and stunned me? Holy Emmy, that was like a crazy, crazy thing you just did. Oh my gosh, I might be done. Oh my gosh, guys. What do I do? Do I go attack? No, sneaky. Okay, so there we go. I healed myself a tiny bit, and I want to attack. She thought I was going to defend myself, but no way. Just go for the kill. So I'll incendio her. Did we burn her? Yes! 
She still could win, guys, if I don't win this. She could easily turn around. So I healed myself again a bit. And she's burned. So, guys, we're tied now. Oh, this could be the end for Emmy. If I burn her, that is. If I don't, though, she could definitely finish me off still. This is anybody's duel. I didn't burn her, guys. Oh, my God. This is anybody's duel. What? Oh my gosh. Okay. Now all I have to do now is Expelliarmus, I think. I could even throw a vial. But Expelliarmus is so awesome. And super easy to trace, so why not? Oh, Emmy, you came out strong. But unfortunately, I finished stronger. So next time, that's nine dueling wins. Nikki and another Gryffindor. We're getting a lot of Gryffindors, guys. I don't know if this is like a typical thing. Oh, they started defensive. And they're healing themselves. I don't understand this this tactic, guys, is going defensive and healing yourself for two turns, but really you're only healing yourself for one turn. And then after that, it's like most of the time people go attack right and it's like okay well easy win there burn for two turns she's healed and now she's burned so basically left the same but now she's going defense again is she healing herself again what are you doing girl oh well i guess she wants she doesn't want to get burned so badly so I still did damage even though I lost, but just very, very little. Oh, I lost that. Don't tell me I burned. No, I'm stunned. I'm stunned for a turn. So even if I win this next one, I can't do anything. Nope, they won. It doesn't really matter. Because I wasn't going to be able to move. But now I will be able to move. So here we go. Boom! Now definitely ascend for sure. I don't even know if there's a better attack, even if I was a higher year and had learned more spells. Did I burn her? Yes! Burn for two turns. Now, question is, is she going to go defense again? Yep, she did. I should have gone sneaky. I should have predicted that. If I lose, it was because I clearly screwed up there. But my burn definitely... Oh, no. Oh my gosh. They're basically tied now. This last one. Nope. Okay, so she... What is she doing? Why would you heal yourself right now? You could have finished me off. What is with this strategy? She could have ended the duel right away, and she didn't. Now she's leaving a window for me to win. If I burn her, she's done. If I don't, then I won't. So, yeah, she's burned. She's, oh, but she's healing. Healing, burned. Okay. Well, we're still anybody's duel here. No, oh, she won. Oh, no, she did it. She's healing again. What is she doing? What are you doing, you silly, silly Gryffindor? My burn... Okay, how did you come back from the dead? Okay, guys, that is total garbage. So I burned her, but because she had a heal, she went to zero and then went back up again. That should not be allowed in the game. I did win this duel. No, I didn't. She healed again from the dead. No, now she wins. Okay, that is garbage. That wasn't even a good duel. Wow, okay, Nikki won, but that was absolute garbage. That should not be allowed in the game. If you go to zero, even if you have a heal, you should not be able to heal yourself. Wow, I'm so angry right now. That is just garbage. It's just like, if, if you were, that's like saying you died, but because you're a cat, you get an extra life to come back. It's like, no. 
for humans, it doesn't apply. So, whatever. Oh, I'm not even focusing my duel. I'm gonna lose because I'm still so angry. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna lose this. I can't even focus now. Oh, okay, get my head back in the game here. It might be too late though for this one. I might lose this duel just because I'm so angry about that. I should have won that last one, guys, in my mind. You should not be able to come back. All right, focus here. No, they use defense. They're gonna heal themselves. Yep. Probably smart, because now they're gonna be burned. But even though they've healed, they're burned. So they really didn't change that much. Defense. Okay, this person is a defense person, and I am just so dumb for not paying attention at the beginning. So I lost that one. Purely out of emotions. Never go into a duel upset, guys, because it doesn't end well for you. All right. Whew. Take a breather here. Get my emotions in check. And then Lily can go back into battle. Wow. Okay, so we're at 9 of 20 right now that we can win. If we go to 20, we get 6 books. Now, I'd be happy to get to 12 because then I'll get 3 books. But naturally, I want to um, be able to do the Malofer's Jinx for sure. Alright, searching for opponents. Is there nobody playing right now? Come on, there's gotta be people playing right now. International love and Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery. I can't find anybody. Nobody wants to duel me. What am I too scary now? Mwahaha. <laughs> Alright, so what do you guys think of my dueling so far? Do you think I'm like a pro dueler or am I just sort of average or do you think I'm actually just horrible? I don't think I'm that horrible. I haven't lost every single duel, but it is possible you guys could think that. Maybe you guys win every single time. All right, we found somebody, Claire. Claire was brave enough to step up to the plate. Now she is wearing the costume that we got um, from battling werewolves. Now that was a super duper cute costume for sure. Um, I did win it. I haven't really worn it because I'm not really into the whole hat thing, but I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I like hats, but I just find that that hat is so aggressive. So if you don't wear the coat, it's a bit ridiculous. Guys, what is going on here? Uh, Claire did something apparently, but, and I've done something apparently, but nothing is showing up. I can't even see what the attack is or anything. Wow, this is the weirdest battle. Literally weirdest battle ever. No, well, I won that. Mind you, it's an empty card. I don't know what to say about this, guys. I can't even move down. I'm gonna be stuck using something else now. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was able to scroll down to use Incendio, but it's not even turning up. I can't even see. It's like, thank goodness I've traced it so many times, I actually know how to draw it. <laughs> okay, Lily's frozen. Okay. No. This is such a weird duel. I don't like this. I like to be able to see when they're moving and things are happening. So two weird things, guys, have happened so far in the dueling club. We've got this weird now blank thing happening and the healing after you're dead. So don't get what is going on here. Has anybody else had this happen to them? I lost. I'm gonna blame it on this whole thing. Mind you, I shouldn't be such a sore loser, but I am. All right, so I lost, and it's making me just stare at my loss for an extra few seconds, going, get your head back in the game here, pay attention. 
And we're still frozen. Still frozen. If it's like this every duel, it's gonna be so crummy. It's not gonna be very much fun. I like seeing the action. Okay, so guys, I'm trying to fix this glitch right now, but there's a severe glitch in Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery right now where the dueling club is stopped. But, um, oh well. Claire won that one. Now, why is there all this light flashing in here? Lily, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, guys, the glitch has extended over into after the duel. Lily is burning. Oh my gosh. No, Lily. This is so weird. I don't like this. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool, but it's so strange. Why? Guys, she's like, it's not, she's not stopping. I thought it was just like for a few times for the attacks during the duel now that they're just showing me. But she's like on permanent glitch right now. Okay, we need to stop her burning. This is so upsetting. It's cool though that it's showing that the dueling room's flashing, but not cool that Lily is burning like that. Okay, Lily, we're trying to get you into the next duel. <laughs> Antonella, okay. Woo, she won the Hagrid costume. Makes her look uh, like Robin Hood or something. Oh no, we're having the Frozen Duel. No, we're not. Okay, phew, I was like, what is happening? Now she's gonna heal for two turns. So she's a real defense girl. But I'm an aggressive, so tough. Deal with it. There we go. Did she burn? Nope. She did not burn. So she's all healed up. So the question is, is she going to use defense again or not? She did. Okay. So she is going to not heal herself, but uh, now... Mm. Okay. So I'm making bad decisions here. She likes defense, but I feel like she's gonna trick me. That's why I keep going with aggressive. I'm like, I think she's trying to trick me, but she's not. She just likes her defense tactic here. But I'm stunned. No. Thank goodness I won that though, but. Oh, now they use attack, so I'm done. There's absolutely nothing I can do at this point. All she has to do is one last attack, and I'm finished. Okay, so, I guess, uh. Antonella got the best of me that time. I don't think I played very smart. Clara from Ravenclaw now. Oh, Clara. We're wearing the same look, but I don't know who looks more terrifying. Sneaky. I'm not really a sneaky person. I'm more up front, but that's okay. If I gotta be sneaky sometimes to win, I've done too many duels, clearly. Not able to trace my spells. I'm getting emotional. See, this is what happens. All right. We're going aggressive, and... Incendio seems like the best option, as always. Guys, what is your favorite spell to use in the dueling club? When you're in duels, is it Incendio like me, or do you guys have another tactic here? Oh, it looks like she doesn't stand a chance with Incendio and the burn on my side. It looks like Lily has got her stuff back together for the win. Bye, Clara. Sorry, better luck next time. All right, so you know what? Gotta wait until the tickets refresh and then go again. And here we go with Mowgli. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. All my Disney Magic Kingdoms fans out there. Yep, here, I'm telling you right now. Mowgli. <laughs> I am Disney girl, so I still love my Disney while I'm playing Harry Potter. But it's hard because I love my Harry Potter while I play Disney too, so 
<sighs> Disney should have been the one to produce the Harry Potter because then I would be in my glories, I'm telling you. All right, Mowgli, it looks like you're going down. As long as I get the burn with Incendio, I am good. Yeah, that's it. Bye, Mowgli. Loved your coat, though. So that is the end of Mowgli, who is a fellow Gryffindor. Now, if I win one more, guys, I will get the books. Dixon. He kind of looks like Ben a little bit. <laughs> and he went for defense, and I went for my usual attack, and now he's healing himself. A very Ben move, I feel. All right, so they're a defense guy because they just keep using defense. No, they changed to aggressive. Oh dear, Dixon's smart. Tack. But I'm coming back now, Dixon. Look out. Did I burn him? No, I didn't. No, this is bad. This is looking bad for me, guys. And if I lose this one, it's because Dixon is actually just a smart dueler. Yep, he is just a smart dueler. This is purely... He won fair and square on this one. I still have a chance, but a very slim one at this point. All right, so let's flip Pendo. Maybe if I stun him, I'll have a chance here. What? Trace again. That was perfect. Okay, what is happening? No more glitches, please. Yeah, I was doing it too fast. Oh, look at that. Now, this has made the duel interesting. Except... Oh, he's going to heal himself? Why? You could have finished me off. What is with this tactic? Dixon, if you lose, it's because you are just purely not making the right calls here. I know you're increasing your health here, but what is the point of that? healing again what do you want to win with full health or something is that is that the idea here okay well I couldn't have predicted whatever he was trying to do here so Dixon won fair and square but what a weird tactic he wanted to win with full health I feel like that was all he wanted to do just to prove a point Oh, which is a little bit annoying. All right, so let's bring me my next opponent here. While we search. Here we go with Mava. All right, so another person using defense. And healing themselves. I feel like this is becoming a common theme. Maybe I should start off with sneaky from now on instead of aggressive. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that has to be my new tactic. And then go with aggressive second. Alright. Now let's go for incendio. So basically if I burn her it's not really going to do anything. It'll do like the tiniest bit of damage. But... Heal and then he's burn. So actually, that did do quite a bit of damage. Actually, I'm quite surprised. All right, Incendio. So as long as she doesn't have the opportunity to heal herself um, after this one, then we should be good here. So she's burned now. So again, it's, oh, if she heals herself, then I will literally won't be able to kill her. Nope. Uh, so should I go sneaky or aggressive? Sneaky. No, that was a bad choice. Now she's going aggressive. And is she going to burn me? Nope. Phew. That was close. Now back with my aggressive to finish her off. With Expelliarmus. 
Something different than the incendio. Lily, do something! Lily! She's like, I'm focusing here. Woohoo! We won against Mava. Sorry, Mava. Better luck next time. So that's at 12 duels now. So I need to get to 16 to learn the Malofer's Jinx. So I'm still working on that. Now, it's really funny because it encases the opponent's head into a pumpkin. So I'd love to see that. But that means that I've got to get with the program here and win, like... How, do I have enough time, actually, to win the duels and to see the Malofer's Jinx? I'd have to win a lot. Raquel, ooh, I love her look. She's got the silver hair. She kind of looks like Delphi a little bit. Oh, but she's not actually doing anything. Oh, there we go. Of course, starting with the potion first. <sighs> okay, well... They're just afraid, I think, to lose, but whatever. Aggressive now, hopefully with my incendio. <sighs> we'll do some damage to her, but we'll have to wait and see. Well, I know I'll do some. It's just a matter of how much. Yay, because I burned her. It's going to be way more than she expected. And now she's still burnt for one more turn. So regardless of whether she wins this next attack or not, which she does, I'm still going to be doing damage on her. But she's healing herself again. Another one of these people that's afraid to lose any health at all. Burn, but healed. Okay. You can sneaky and defense all you want, and I want to win. Did I burn her? Yes, I burned her. So even though she's going to heal, I did damage regardless. So, oh, she went for an attack move. And holy damage. What on earth? Okay, but I still did damage to her too. So I need to win this next one so she doesn't get the chance to heal herself. So what do I choose? No, I should have gone sneaky. Oh, and I'm stunned. So even if I win this next one, I'm not going to be able to save myself. So unless she heals herself, that's the only thing I've got going for me right now. Oh! The stun is gone, and I'm holding on by a thread. So I have to win this next attack, which I do win. Oh, my gosh. Okay, guys, this is insane. What a good, good duel. Hanging on by a thread, and did I burn her though? Yes! Phew! Okay, burn, and unfortunately, Raquel from Ravenclaw is defeated! Yeah! Okay, so that's 13 wins! I'm on a roll, baby! Let's go! Starting with Laura now, and Laura is a boy. And we win! Get to use incendio again. I need some new spells, guys. Seriously. I love the what incendio does. Oh, damage. Now, question are they gonna heal themselves? Probably. I should have known that. Oh, but they didn't. They still went with the defensive move. I'm burned. Ooh. And he's burned. So, this is close. Now, I guess I should go for Incendio again and try and burn him once more. And then that way, I think I will defeat him or I'll be really close. Oh, he is out. Bye, Laura. Sorry. Better luck next time. Now, that's 14 wins. That one's a really quick win, actually. Harper from Hufflepuff. Another one wearing that um, werewolf capture unit outfit. 
All right, so what do I choose? What do I choose? Wait, do sneaky. No, I should have done sneaky. And it's a common theme, people starting with defense. I'd say nine out of 10 are going with defense first, but going for def defense twice in a row. Now question is, do they do a third time? No, so that was a bad call on my part. Wow. Hufflepuff is gonna beat me. Boom, but I'm coming back. Going for the incendio. Come on, Lily. Just need to win like twice here. Burned. Okay, I have to win this. Yes! Aggressive. So I guess incendio again. And if I burn her again, and they'll start over so the two turns, which will be amazing. Come on. Yes, burn for two turns. Oh, which means Oh no, unless she heals herself. She does choose to heal herself. Now, is that because she's burned and that even if she did an attack on me, it would have been a draw? But she just killed herself, didn't she? No, oh, but she healed herself back to life. That's so ridiculous. But I lost. No! Harper from Hufflepuff won. And I should have known when they went with defensive that they were going to do it again, but... Oh, well. I read that one wrong. Now we're against Galder from Gryffindor. That's a really cool name, Galder. And funky hairdo, man. Really funky hairdo. Oh, jeez. Luna glasses and... And, uh, what are those boots? There's only so many times you can choose defensive, buddy, before I figure out your tactic. That was quite a lot of damage. And I chose aggressive, he chose sneaky. Naturally, I win. I feel like this is like rock, paper, scissors. And he's burned for two turns. So if I win this next one, he's definitely done. Sorry, buddy. You can pretty much use any spell here and with your burn, it's just not gonna do you much good. Boom. Galder from Gryffindor, better luck next time. All right, so that's 15 wins. I just need one more. So I really need to win this next one. Antonella, okay. Whoa, what an outfit, girl. It's actually kind of spooky. <sighs> oh, we both chose sneaky and I heal. Oh, why? I thought you were an aggressive type just by looking at her, but you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Or a witch by its wand. Alright, here we go. But I can't get Flipendo again. Again, I think it's my nails are too long, guys. They're not actually even that long. It's just ridiculous. And I think I'm using more of my nail, I think, to trace maybe at the end. Like when I go to flick and it just doesn't register it. It's the only thing I can think of unless it's another glitch. But my, again, my nails aren't even that long, so... I need to use like way more of just my finger, but it's so much harder to do. And I just lost. No. Antonella, what are you doing? Okay, I got one more duel here. Edvin. Love it. What a cool name and a cool look. Edvin. Going with Incendio. Oh, now that, I swear, that was not my fault. That was not the nails. Ooh, and he's burned. Burn, baby, burn. 
Mmm, Incendio again. Why not? I wonder what they're gonna do for Christmas in the dueling room, guys. I think it'll look so amazing if they put Christmas trees. Big, giant Christmas trees. Oh, he chose defense. He read me like a book. He didn't heal himself, though, so pretty much I win. I just need to use Squipendo, and that should be the end. Yep. Sorry, Edvin. From Ravenclaw. Better luck next time. So that is 16 wins! Woo! What do you guys think of my dueling abilities? Okay, so the only bad thing is, is I'm out of tickets and I'm out of time. So I don't get to use the Malofer's Jinx, which just sucks. It just, there's no other way to put it. This sucks. I wish I could <sighs> to get to show you guys the Malofer's Jinx, but I can't. I have no way of getting more tickets right now without spending 55 gems and unfortunately I'm not willing to do that there's only three hours and five minutes left here in this and I have to wait four hours so there's just no point point. Um, and even too if I use the gems and I won all three duels I still wouldn't be able to get the books so realistically I'd need to use 110 gems to get six books and to show you guys the Mulover's Jinx and I'm just not willing to do that. I feel I did this fair and square. I made it and I did my time. I checked every four hours. So this is my final result. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my first dueling club experience. Um, if you did, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a big magical thumbs up and subscribe for lots more Disney girl fun. And we'll see you guys for the next Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery video. Bye.